guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing amazing in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the diy that i'm wearing on my neck right now basically i think i'm pretty early on valentine's day because this will be such a perfect valentine's day gift so uh yeah i'm pretty early but this diy will be perfect for any occasion whether it's a birthday anniversary or any day that you want to show that special someone how much you care and you actually want to show them that you can make something for them that they are that special that you actually decided to make something by yourself on your own with a little bit of my help but it's okay you did it and that makes it really special so today i'm going to be sharing with you how to make this little cute diy um, necklaces and i hope you like them um, I did have a little trouble taking pictures and recording how pretty they look because I had to do it really up close and I don't have the camera to do that yet. So if it doesn't look that pretty, trust me, it looks so beautiful in person. I just couldn't take the right pictures, but they look absolutely gorgeous and you can personalize it all the way as with any of my DIYs. I really always like making DIYs that you can really personalize it and just make it extra special for the person whom you're giving it to or if you're keeping it for yourself. So congrats to those of you who are happily in love and um, happy birthday, happy anniversary, happy Valentine's Day if you're watching this on Valentine's Day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and leave me any comments, any other requests and yeah, let's get started. So for this tutorial, first of all, we are going to need some mini bottles. Some people know them by beach bottles, mini little beach bottles or portion bottles. And they basically just look like this. The ones on the right are actually from the Dollar Tree. I think they come with 10 for only $1. So first of all, go check your Dollar Tree and they are just nail art decorations. And the ones on the left are actually from Walmart. They come with four in a pack for about five dollars i believe so we're going to need some of those then you will also need some chains of the color of your choice and some rings i have chosen the silver chains for the bottles that already come with the little hooks since they are silver and i have chosen the gold ones for the bottles that are smaller and don't have a little hook yet if you're going to use a bottle that doesn't come with a hook already you will need some a wire. I have black, silver, and red wire right here and you can also use super glue. You just have to make sure that it's a really strong glue so that you can glue the chain to the bottle. The one that you see right there is actually dried and I can't find any of my other glues so I won't be able to show you that but basically you just have to glue the chain to the bottle and that will be it. It's nothing um, super hard to do. And finally you are going to need anything that you would like to place inside of your little bottle that includes miniature seashells. I really like the little um, flakes that come for the nails so I really love those. I might use them. I also have some tiny pearls and also some diamond beads but just anything that you would like to place inside your bottle just gather that as well so i'm going to start off by showing you how to use wire if you don't find a bottle that has the little hook already like this one which you can find in any craft store and you can actually buy the little hook and uh, just place it on the cork of the bottle but um, I'm mainly going to show this for those of you who are going to be placing heavier things on your bottle or just if you want to have something a little bit more secure. For my wire, I chose red because I love how the gold goes with the red, but you can choose any color that you want. So first of all, we are going to start off by having about an inch or so of wire that's extra. From that inch or so, just bend it and then just create a little hook by twisting it like so from this point just keep twisting to secure it in place then just take your bottle and just measure where the other little hook should be which will be right on the opposite side of it so just measure that and once you find where you want it to be then just bend it and twist it again it should now look something like this and now we're going to wrap this around the bottle so that we can secure it in place 
start off by shaping this part first so that it's nice and tight into the bottle and then just start putting the wire around it it goes nice and tight So this is how it looks right now. As you can see, the wire is just on the ridge of the mouth of the little bottle. So the wire is not overlapping like that. As you can see, this on the edge is where I overlapped it. But on the front and on the back, it's not overlapping. So just make sure this is really nice and tight. And then just start twisting to secure it in place on this side. Then you can just go ahead and flatten the wire down a little bit, like so, and then just cut off the excess. Just make sure that you kind of curve it down, that way it doesn't poke you or anything. <laughs> just curve it. Just push it in with your nails or any tool that you have, and that way it gets curved and it doesn't stick out. And the next step is to attach the ring to the necklace and then the ring to the bottle as well and just close that up just so that it's secure this is the part where you let your imagination fly and this is where you personalize your little bottle to the person who you are giving it to these are going to be just some of the ideas that i came up with um, for the longer bottle i thought that it would be really cute to put a note inside it since it is pretty long and that will give me enough uh, space to put a little note inside. So I'm going to be using this post-it notes and I'm just going to use half of it and I'm gonna use the sticky side of it. So I'm going to go ahead and write my little note and I will be right back. So this is my message. Don't judge my handwriting. I had to write super small and my handwriting is really bad already so don't judge me but this is what i wrote i wrote uh, my love for you is deeper than the sea but if you must know i'll stop loving you the day you count all the grains of the sand of this world i love you so okay now that we have that we are going to start rolling this the reason why i told you to use the sticky side is because it will help the paper just stay in place a lot better after you finish rolling it you can actually secure it with white thread well with any type of thread i use white so just secure that in place and just cut the excess thread off and now i'm going to place the small little note into the bottle just have it there and a tiny seashell as well i'm going to add a little bit of sand i'm going to be using some of these little flakes they're actually supposed to be for your nails but it just has a super pretty color hold on let me try to zoom you in already put a little bit of sand into my little bottle and now I'm going to place this small seashell on it. I wrote a letter B into the shell and then just painted it with a really sparkly nail polish. So I did all of this with a nail polish. So now I'm just going to place that inside the bottle like that and I'm going to top it with this blue sparkly iridescent nail decoration as well. I really love how the white and blue looks with the silver wire so I transferred that to the one on the left and the one on the right as you can see has little beads there are also for nail art and then some seashells stacked with little pearls and then one giant pearl at the very top it's really hard for me to focus that but that's how this one's came out and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a lot more because there are like a million ways to do this so yeah, these are two of the other ones that I did.
and that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was a little bit helpful and uh thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all of your likes all of your views and all of your subscriptions i really do appreciate it and i hope that the person whom you're giving this to or if you're keeping it to yourself i hope that they like it i hope that you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and check out the rest of my videos also and uh, thank you so much again. I am wearing the pink one, by the way, because I wanted to model it for you. But basically, I did want to kind of explain this one. I decided to go for the pink post note because I wanted it to really stand out. In person, you can actually see the white thread that I tied the little note with. And it looks super cute. I really love how it stands out against the seashell and against the white sand. And the little um, iridescent white sparkles are so, so beautiful. So, um, yeah, like I said, they are gorgeous in person. And I hope you try it out. And um, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you go. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.